Hey guys, what's up? It's Molten Marlin, and today we are going to be talking about legendary guns, gear, and attachments in Apex Legends, and where to find them. To start off, I'll talk about the legendary gear and what special effects they have. It is to be noted that legendary gear has the same stats as purple gear, but with a bonus to them. Legendary Backpack Fast Heal Healing items take half as long to use. This means you can add an additional 6 slots to your inventory and reduce the time health and shield consumables require by half. For example, medkits would take 4 seconds instead of 8. Legendary Body Shield Executioner Finishers fully regenerate shield. In addition to absorbing 100 damage, finishing someone fully recharges shield. Legendary Helmet Fast Charge reduces tactical and ultimate recharge time. This means that it reduces headshot bonus damage by 50% while also reducing the amount of time it takes to use your tactical or left bumper and ultimate ability left and right bumper. Legendary Knockdown Shield Resurrection can self-resurrect once. In addition to 750 damage protection while knocked down, you can revive yourself only one time. That's it for legendary gear, now it's time to talk about legendary weapons. Legendary weapons come in two forms. There are legendary standard weapons and then there are two legendary exclusive weapons. Legendary standard weapons are just the normal weapons found across the map, only with all their attachment slots filled with the pre-selected best attachments. I have only seen the R301, the Peacekeeper, and the Wingman, but let me know if you guys have seen any others. Legendary exclusive weapons are completely different from standard legendary guns. They can only be found in supply drops which includes lifelines ultimate and won't accept any other weapons ammo. Players will only be able to use the limited amount of ammo included with each weapon. These legendary weapons however are already equipped with their own permanent attachments. Currently only two exclusively legendary weapons exist in the game. The first one is the Mastiff Shotgun, which shoots 8 pellets at a time, 18 damage for 1 pellet, and if all hit, does a base damage of 144 and 288 for a headshot. The magazine size is 4 with a total ammo of 20. The next legendary gun is the Crabber 50 cal sniper with 6x 10x variable optic, which does 125 body damage and 250 for a headshot, has a magazine size of 4 and total ammo is 12. Both weapons can one shot an enemy without armor and two shot an enemy no matter what armor they're wearing. Now onto the legendary optics. There are two optics, the 4x10x digital sniper threat and the 1x digital threat a barrel stabilizer, and a hop-up turbocharger for the Devotion LMG. The threat detector optics are useful when dealing with enemies that use smoke as they can see through the smoke. However, the one times digital threat can only be used on shotguns, SMGs, and pistols. And the digital sniper threat obviously can only be used on snipers and it has the capability of variable zoom. The barrel stabilizer greatly reduces recoil and can be attached on LMGs, RE45, G7 Scout, Longbow, Alternator, R99, Hemlock, and the R301. The last legendary attachment is the hop-up turbocharger for the Devotion. This reduces the spin-up time and could potentially make the gun useful. Now let's talk about where you can find the legendary gear, weapons, and attachments. Both the hovering supply ship and the randomized hot zone, which is the blue colored circle on the map, will have the best loot. Also, the map is split into three tiers of loot. High tier loot, which includes artillery, relay, swamps, repulsor, water treatment, thunderdome, airbase, runoff bunker, the pit, and the cascades. Mid-tier loot, slum lakes, wetlands, bridges, and school town. And finally, low-tier loot, hydro dam and market. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and comment your favorite gun to use below in the comments.